Today I'm going to show you some active self myofascial release techniques for the forearm and elbow. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some self myofascial release techniques that you can use on your forearm tissues and, and muscles in here um, as, as well as some of these other muscles here that attach near or on the elbow. Before moving forward, I want to stick in my normal legal disclaimer and say that I'm not a physician. I'm a holistic personal trainer specializing in corrective exercise. So always consult your physician, your doctor first before doing any of the exercises I talk about in my videos. That being said, many times elbow pain and you know uncomfortability in this area, not necessarily the elbow itself, but in this area right here, is just due to tissue stress, okay? Um, specifically, um, the, the basically that means that the muscles in the fascia, the connective tissue that attach in that area, are very, very tight. And where they attach near or on the elbow, those, those attachment sites tend to, to you know, take a lot of mechanical uh, stress by way of like tugging and pulling in that area. Um, and because of that, it can really make that area uncomfortable. It can be really painful and kind of tight. Um, and this is especially prominent in people that grip a lot, okay? So if you're, you know, working at a computer and your, your fist is kind of clenched up and then you go to the gym and you do a bunch of deadlifts and rows and things like that, things that really require you to grip um, the weight really heavy, that's really gonna, you know, get some more, that's gonna get a lot of contraction in the forearm here, which is just gonna contrib uh, contribute to that tissue stress that you already have in there. So if you fall in that category and you're one of those people where you just get really, really tight in here, it's very simple to release these muscles. Um, they're very accessible with your fingers. So, you know, you can use your hand and uh, you can also use a cross ball. A cross ball is also um, advisable to have. So I like to use like a bench for this. You don't need a bench though. You can use your desk. You can also use, um, you know, anything really. Uh, the floor, doesn't matter. Um, but Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to, and this is one thing that you can actually do when you're actually working at a computer, especially if you get a lot of tenderness underneath here, you can essentially just put this like on your desk and while you're working your, your mouse, you can roll your, you know, your forearm up and down this ball while you're working on the mouse. Or you don't even have to do that actively. You can just kind of rest it in there um, statically while you're using your mouse. And that's gonna help to start to break up some of that tissue stress in there, right? Some of that, that uh, tight muscle and fascia. So that's a really easy way to, to kind of incorporate this into your workstation. Um, what you can do, this is actually a peanut, um, which is like two lacrosse balls, uh, joined together at the center, but you don't even need something like this. You can just get two lacrosse balls, put one down. This is something that you would, this is more active. You probably wouldn't be able to do this at work as easily because it requires two hands. But if you're, if it's really flared up after like a heavy day of pulling, like doing pull-ups and deadlifts and things like that, this is a much more effective way to release the, the, the superior and inferior <laughs> muscular tissue, the, the tissue on top and underneath. Basically put one underneath, put one on top, and then you kind of, you just kind of roll both together here like this. Really digging this ball in here. You can just kind of play around with this, but realize that these muscles oftentimes attach up here, run all the way down the length of your forearm here. So uh, it's just the attachment sites usually that get inflamed. So, but you want to release the entire length of the muscle. So you want to roll all the way up from the elbow, all the way down, really kind of pushing in. You can even use another hand to push down on the forearm to give you a little bit more, you know, uh, pressure in there. Um, this is one way to do it. And then when it comes to the top of the forearm, you know, same thing. You want to just run the length of the muscle like this. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you don't have a ball with you, you can just basically just do, you know, massage in your hands. This is not as ideal because your other hand is going to be contracting to massage this hand, which is kind of you know, it's going to be, you're going to get tight on this arm and then when you release the, this arm with the same way, this side's going to get tight. So I would recommend the balls for that. This is a really good one where you, where you smash this one that I just demonstrated, um, as well as kind of just stripping up and down the top like that. These are all great. Do this regularly and it should really break up that tightness. I should also mention that they have actually devices for this kind of thing. It's like a vice kind of thing with like balls on it, like massage balls. 
and you like basically run your arm through this thing and it like slides up and you pull it down. You slide it in, pull it out, and it does all this for you. You don't really need anything that fancy. Really just the crossbows like this will do. That's really it, it's really that simple. Um, Again, lots of times pain in or around a joint is just caused by tissue stress. So um, you can do the, these exercises, release all these tissues in here, use the ball in there. Um, you know, you can do that daily, especially as part of your warm-up protocol before you um, do any type of strength training or anything like that. Now I do want to talk about pain back here, specifically when you're doing like things like tricep extensions and bench press. Um, that type of pain is likely attributable to tissue stress from the tricep tendon, right? So if you do things like skull crushers a lot, tricep extensions, close grip bench press, or even just regular pressing exercises like overhead press, things like that dips, um, the tricep can become very, very tight and that, and basically the tricep tendon anchors down here at the elbow. So you can get some tendonitis in here, you get some localized inflammation and pain, um, but that's kind of like a different thing and that's probably a topic for another video. But if you have issues back here, then, then kind of, you know, let me know in a comment down below if you want me to make a, make a video about that. Other than that, that's pretty much it for today. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. I'll include links to both of those in the description down below. Also, if you want me to be your coach, if you want me to screen your movement patterns and assess your posture, to come up with an, with an idea and a strategy to address your muscle imbalances and your postural distortions, then open up the description down below, hit coaching, which will take you to my webpage. You'll be able to see what I have to offer. And the first place to start is with a posture and movement assessment. Other than that, have a good one. I'll see you next time.